Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkers here. So I've been asked a couple of times, even though I did a real quick how to set the screws on the uprights here. I figured uh, I'll go over this one more time, try to get more in-depth explanation with samples and stuff of what I look for to know if something has the depth set wrong. So I've been printing up my uh, parts for the tensioners for the uprights which I have the first version here which is okay I think I've improved a little bit here but anyways what I want to show you is how one side of this is good the other side is crap this could be for several reasons one uh, the printer might be just sitting differently so you have to adjust it I wasn't getting much of that before but a couple of my supports have come off they were just glued um, I, I still need to figure out exactly what I want to do with that but anyways what I wanted to show you is this side is good that's what a good print adhesion looks like so you have solid lines and nothing really else this side is crap I had this set for two layers bottom and top and the second layer just barely was being put down I think it was two layers hold on one two no three layers okay so the third layer was barely put down but you can see my original direction was this direction you see more of this direction showing through that's saying that the most of the first layer didn't even get put down it's the second layer and the third layer that actually got put down so that's bad adhesion for me bad first couple of layers sorry my dogs are being nuts and they're walking around right now sorry about the noise there but uh, I'm going to move the camera a little bit sorry about that uh, here is my printer my hero and you can see the screw right here when setting these for height you have to turn it in to bring it up you have to turn it out so clockwise in to get it to be higher up counterclockwise out to be lower down and the reason the easiest way that I found to think of this is you're not extending or retracting the screw but you're adjusting so pulling the screw in pulls up the carrier having it out pushes it down so longer to push it down towards the bed shorter to pull it up away from the bed so and uh, mind you you don't need much adjustment a little bit of a turn is all that you need now one thing that you do have to do you either have to use pre-made files or you have to run manually the way I'm going to do it is just to run G28 capital G28 that is the homing sequence that touches off all three end stops to get it to home as you can see and mind you that is the one with the tensioner I, uh, I got one more to print and then the rest of these uh, which you couldn't see me tapping on the, the actual tensioners themselves uh, give me time I need to actually find the files for that or make them myself actually I think I'm going to make a new one because yeah adjustments anyways back to what I was originally saying uh, once you get it upright quick and easy way that I use is I'm going to send it to the home so all the way down mine happens to be 109.6 so I'm just going to have it tell it to go the whole way down and it'll stop itself at 109.6 then I take a piece of paper flat against the glass under the hot end which actually either the papers crimpled crinkled or my settings have or I'm really bad off right now I'm not even getting the paper underneath so I happen to know that this upright is off a little bit so I'm going to adjust it again just another eighth of a turn and that's all I need 
It's an eighth of a turn. You have to, of course, every single time have it home, which can take a minute because, uh, well, I haven't upped the homing speed. It's still slow from not much faster than the original 101 Hero speeds, even though this printer is capable of much faster. I just didn't bother. One, two, three. There it goes. Okay. So now it knows it's home. It touches, retracts, and slowly touches again. Good. Perfect. Jog. I'm going to go to my controls. Bring it down. That's 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 109.6, which for mine is correct, is now loose. Let me bring it down some more, make sure it won't go further. And it is just barely starting to, to grab onto the paper there. That's what you want it to be. You want it so the paper can slip under, and you're just starting to feel a little bit of touching there. Because this is how thick you want your first layer to be, is the thick of a standard piece of paper. This is instructions from one of my stepper motors, so it's just something, it's literally just a piece of paper. Now, of course, if you were really good, you'd take it to a corner, do it again. And it seems that I might still need to keep adjusting it because this corner is the one I know has an issue if I go a little bit more. Come on, get in that corner there. Okay, that corner, check again. I should be able to get it under because it was printing just fine. Yep, it's just barely grabbing the paper, but it's underneath. Just barely. I actually might want to set that down a little bit. But let me make sure I'm at zero. So, yes, I am all the way down now. And, yeah, it's almost too much as well. So I think I'm going to... Tiniest bit in. And you just keep doing this. You do all three. So I'm going to have it, I'm going to adjust this one again because it was too tight as well. And home it again. You keep going over and over and over until you're happy with it. And then for me, I'm going to assume I'm happy with it now just to expedite this a little bit. I'm going to pause, I'm going to let it start printing its first layer. Then I'm going to show you what I look for. It doesn't take long. But I, I would like it to sh you all to see this real quick. So uh, let me pause, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in here. This is the first skirt is all you really need to see. I'm going to like go a couple of passes so I can show you. So it's going to go around twice for the skirt that I do. Oh, I also want to say. You can't really see it, but the longest screwdriver you can get a hold of, I find, is best so you can get a most extreme angle to the screws. Okay, so I'm going to stop this print, raise her up, stop, plus, okay. So, what am I trying to show you here? Sorry about using silver, it's just what I have loaded. What I'm trying to show you is this side. So the three, the three towers are here, here, and here. I have nice solid filament here. I have almost nothing here and here. So what does that tell me? This tower, mostly good. This tower, too low. This tower, too low. Why? I don't know. This was set perfectly um, a week ago. I don't know why it's adjusted itself now, but it has. It doesn't hurt it. It just, it's annoying. You have to go through this. So this, when you put down 
filament, and I do this even on my big printer. This is my fine tuning. I get it as close as I can, manual adjustments or whatever, and then fine tune is I actually print. And this came up right now, which says it almost might be too high here. But as you uh, print more, you'll figure it out what you want to look for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to still put in this one and this one probably a quarter turn. I'll do the paper test some more because I'm actually not close enough yet. But once I get close, no filament here means the, the print head was actually physically dragging. It was blocking the filament from coming out, causing it to just not come out and not extrude anything. That's what you look for for your final test. Once everything's good, this would be a nice solid outline, nice solid outline, and everything's good. So, that's how I tune all, both my printers. This one's particularly because there's screws. My other one doesn't have that issue. It still needs some fine tuning, but different fine tuning. But still similar enough. I hope that answers questions about how to fine tune your towers, how to do a print test, kinda. And then a real quick update about this, and uh, also what to look for when your prints are have first layer adhesion problems and are messed up because of it. So, thanks everyone so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more. I'll keep doing these as I'm working on them. And uh, thanks everyone so much for watching. Keep tinkering. See you next time.